Hi guys, Ben here. You can follow me on Techno for Teachers at Twitter and also on the blog. I'm assuming you know how to get there if you're watching this video. Uh, I wanted to introduce kind of how I got into Jupiter grades uh, right before we got into how to do the lesson for today. Uh, it was really about efficiency and actually getting more use of my leisure time. I was spending quite a bit of my class time doing data entry and uh, things that weren't very fun taking away from my classroom experience and my interaction with the students. So, uh, you know, rather than being buried behind mounds of paperwork and doing data entry and grading things and not even get to see all of it, I started using Jupyter Grades. And Jupyter, Jupyter Grades, it integrates and it really accelerates what the students are doing on their end as well. We're able to give them feedback and assignments. They're able to practice with uh, assignments over and over and getting feedback on each individual answer. So it really freed up a lot of time for me. Looking at starting to use Jupyter Grades, I did start at the substitution level um, with actually just uh, having students fill out PDFs, eventually augmentation, so that's like our Juno um, assignments where the students are getting some minor feedback, we're taking an old test and putting it in there. So that's what we're looking at today. So how to upload a PDF and have them fill that out and how to actually get an assignment going in Jupyter grade. So the first one is the PDF. That's easy one to get started. So, so say I have a PDF. That. I would like to put in, have the students access and be able to write on and then um, turn in. I simply go to Files and Links, Upload New, where I'm going to choose um, how I would like to upload it. So I'm just select a file from this computer. So this would be a worksheet or something that I already have so I can look through. Um, I pull up my file, whatever it might be, Okay, that PDF. I choose the class I want it in, I save it, and now it's in the downloads. I can actually go back to the dashboard for that class, create the new assignment, and in the show directions, I insert the link for that file. The students can download the file from there. I select Dropbox so that I can accept any files, PDF, links. Um, typically, a PDF is the easiest to work with. Um, they can also edit and turn in Juno Docs. Uh, there's more features on that and cover later. So that's the easiest way um, to have students do that. They'll download that file, put it into Notability, and then they have it to turn back in um, <clears throat> with their notes and things on it. Okay, the next way we want to look at it is right now using Juno. So Juno provides more feedback. We're getting more into the augmentation. We're looking at the students be able to um, not just do homework, but be required to fulfill it to 100%, be able to repeat it, see the correct answers for each of the questions, and we all have a lot of tests and things that we've already done. So one of the things you can do here is you want to create a new one. We're going to select import. So I want to bring in a new test, and I have my old Chapter 6 science test. It says paste your questions here. All right, so what you're going to want to do is open up that document that you had in a Word file. You can look through here at your questions. It needs to be in an RTF. All right, RTF, rich text format. So we are going to save as. So I click save as in the drop down menu instead of dot doc, I'm going to select dot RTF. Okay, and then I'm going to save that document. I'll be uploading that in just a moment. Um, so with the import function with Juno, there's uh, several ways uh, and types of questions they'll take in. Simplest is multiple choice. You just add an asterisk in front of what would be the correct answer. So the number of protons in atom is the atomic number, I add an asterisk, and I'm just going to put in some random asterisks here for the demonstration. Okay. So you can either put it right next to... And fast forward just a little bit here to pasting the questions here. in. Okay, so copy and paste my answers in there. So that was my RTF. I'm going to make sure I have that one. So I would just simply come here, Okay, copy down whatever questions, all of them, some of them. It's up to you. So copy. I go right here into the browser window. I paste those in right there. So I have my questions. The correct ones marked with an asterisk. I'm doing this as an assessment or exercise. So if I choose exercise, that gives the students the opportunity to repeat. Um, I click on new. And you see it's already in here formatted with the correct answer marked. I can click done and then I can assign this to my classes. So so there you can see how to take the augmentation phase with some work that you already have. So um, don't forget to go ahead and follow on Twitter. I'm also on Pistachio where I have the blog going. Send me your questions and I'll talk to you next time. Uh, we'll bring up Skitch and how to get the images that you want or from those files you already have into Juno.